Hey, happy uh, Tuesday, everybody. Sports Time in the ATL. Uh, I did get my previous. If you check out the previous video I did on Teespring merchandise, again, I, I've, I've had the Teespring account for a while now. Just haven't really got going on it because uh, I'm not really sure how to. I'm not computer savvy or technically savvy like that. But, you know, I reached out to some people who know about merchandise. Please comment below. Text me. Get back with me. Let me know what to do. Uh, and I'll try to see if I can get something going with that. Uh, this video is about the Atlanta Braves. I want to give some Braves reminders. First of all, tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time with ACP Carter 45 and hopefully A Fizzle Productions. I don't know if he'll be able to make it, but we'll be doing a Tomahawk Takeover episode number 11. We will be recapping uh, the Sunday game for the Braves um, and then the games against the Red Sox of the first two games and uh, Braves news, etc. And then we'll look forward to the weekend. Um, again, I will only be doing, starting this week, I will only be doing one Atlanta Braves Tomahawk takeover because my Sundays now will be preoccupied with Atlanta Falcons. I got some shows coming up. I got to focus on, on other channels. Uh, and so I need to limit myself now to what I'm doing so it doesn't overwhelm me. I have a job to do that I focus on and everything on YouTube is extra for me and fun and that's how i'm approaching it uh again in a tomahawk takeover consistently if it, if it comes on sundays it'll be on acp carter 45's channel my tomahawk takeovers will be on wednesdays at one o'clock and i will have falcons uh midday recaps at 3 p.m eastern time i might change those times around i need since it's going to be a changeover with the with, with with the season starting in football I'm still kind of debating on the times to do it because I also may commit myself to shows on other channels throughout the weeks. But Wednesdays, there will be uh, times to be determined, Tomahawk Takeover, and uh, Falcons Recap Wednesdays. Uh, but anyways, I want to talk right now about the Atlanta Braves and the trade deadline. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about what the Braves uh, did during the trade deadline, which ended at 4 o'clock yesterday, which is absolutely nothing. Um, I've been saying this um, from the very beginning since we started to get the injuries with Mike Soroka and Fulton Evans not doing well and Cole Hamill still being out with injury and, and everything that uh, we cannot win the World Series with just one proven starter in Max Freed. Now, I, I'm not discrediting Ian Anderson's uh, first performance against the Yankees, um, but you can't go on ifs and hopes. You know, we're, we're juggling Josh Tomlin. That starting is clearly not working out. Hasn't been horrible, but clearly not working out. Um, Mike bolton is still down on the minors. Cole Hamels is still trying to come back from injury. Uh, the guy we picked up from the Orioles, Tommy Malone, his first effort was abominable. It was horrible. Now, Alex, Alex A., he does a lot of good pickups for us, but that was not encouraging. Clearly, that was, he could get better, but that was not encouraging. That was horrible. Um, luckily, the Braves scored enough runs to win. Do the Braves have a World Series championship offense? Yes. Right now, yes. Even without Ozzie Albies and Acuna going back and forth. But what bothers me is that whenever the Braves have an opportunity to contend for a World Series, something happens. Last year, the whole season, and all of a sudden, Freddie Freeman gets hurt, and he's not himself in the playoffs, and we lose. You know, so that was demoralizing. And then this year, all of a sudden, Acuna, Albies, out. And so I mean, that's demoralizing. It's like in order to win a World Series, the Braves have to have everything working. Now, I understand that the injuries are probably happening because of the long layoff and this and that. But my God, man, you know, we have a, a World Series championship offense. Our defense is really good. I could name, go down the list. I've, I've been beating a dead horse with that. But the, and the bullpen has gotten better. You know, ironically, it has gotten better. Um, but starting pitching right now, as of right now, the 1st of September, all we have definite that I feel 100% confident with is Max Fried, 6-0 with a one-point-something ERA. Other than that, I What? I know Cole Hamels might, might be coming back from injury in a couple of weeks, but damn, man, this regular season is going to end in about three and a half weeks. He, he needs to get himself together, and there's no guarantee he's going to be successful. So I don't know what Alex A. was thinking. I don't know why he couldn't pull the trigger on uh, Clevenger of the Indians. 
I know there was a couple other guys out there. I know there's still some opportunity to do some post uh, after trade deadline trade, but they got to go through waivers and all that. But really, we're, we're clearly not pitching wise, starting wise, able to win a World Series. Now, the Braves are going to make the playoffs, probably win the division again for the third straight year. But unless we get starting pitching in the playoffs, we're not winning a World Series. We're not winning the World Series with just one proven starter in Max Freed. So hopefully we can outslug everybody in the playoffs because in the playoffs, good pitching beats good hitting all the time. So I'm going to throw my hands up in the air and hope that Alex A. knew what he was doing. Uh, because clearly I'm frustrated that we did not pick up anybody. I'm more frustrated that everybody just got hurt. I'm frustrated that H Hamels during the offseason got hurt. I'm frustrated that Mike Soroka got hurt on the mound. Or else that's one and two, definitely. I'm upset that Tuki Tucson hasn't panned out, that Mike fulton has not worked out this year. I mean, it's like... And Felix Hernandez chose to opt out. Some things beyond Alec... Felix Hernandez opting out because of COVID, even though Freddie Freeman's playing and Nick Marcakis are playing, um, and Mike Soroka getting hurt and Fulton Evitz losing it is not Alex A's fault. That's not his fault. But getting Tommy Malone, who got butchered in his first game, is. And not making a trade at the deadline for a top starter, that is Alex A's fault. So my question is, will Braves fans, loyal Braves fans, Braves country, once again be let down in October? We'll see, or will we persevere and, and prove me wrong and everybody wrong and outslug our way to a World Series championship? Because that's clearly what has to happen. The Braves are going to have, at this point, unless people come back and start proving me wrong, the Braves clearly, most likely, are going to have to outslug their, their opponents in the playoffs to win a World Series. So we'll see. But always go Braves, and I'll see you on the show tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you.